So this is how you can link your iPad as a mouse for the Mac computer, which you own as well. Well, it is pretty simple, so let's get into it. So the way that it works is that you need to have a specific application on both devices. So from the same developers, you need to have one on your Mac as well as on the iPad. So I would recommend you to just head over to the App Store and look up Remote Mouse on it on it and you're going to be able to see like the green icon which is you know representing the mouse and everything so, so just get this application on your ipad and then also open up the app store on your mac and get the very same application there as well once you open up the app on your ipad it will ask you for a bunch of different permissions like to uh, allow access to devices on local network which makes sense we need that so you need to allow all of this and you will be able to just continue with the setup process once you go through all of this you will get to a page on the ipad where it tries to look up a computer so then move over to your mac and on it open up the same application allow all of the thing things that it asks you to because it needs to like enable some like accessibility settings for this specific app and everything so this means that you will uh, just uh, enable all of the stuff on your computer and then on the iPad, the Mac is going to pop up. So you're going to click on it and then you might get a tutorial on how it works from the app, like, you know, where to click, where the right and left click is and everything. But once you just go through the tutorial, you're going to be able to just scroll on the iPad screen and just control the mouse on your computer. Well, it's not going to be as smooth as using the actual mouse, but it is a very good replacement for it. I mean, it works even in the free version through the free software. If you want more features or something, you might want to upgrade to the paid version, but the free one is usually more than enough for a lot of people. So hopefully you manage to get it to work. If you manage to um, like get it like properly set up on your iPad, make sure to hit the thumbs up on this video. Subscribe below and I'll see you in the next video.